Hello, welcome to another math studies video. It's the last one on financial math. We're going to be looking at bank loans, inflation, and depreciation. So first, bank loans. Instead of the money, uh, us giving money to the bank, the bank's giving money to us. And the difference is that we are giving money in between to the bank. We're paying monthly installments to the bank. So this is the PMT key that we had in the, in the, in the, in the program, in the calculator, because it's the payment per period. So how much money we're putting it per period. So it's the PMT key. So this is the loan problem in the GDC. Here it is, you know, it's a typical one. What's the monthly installment for a loan? 60,000 euros at 6.7% interest per annum uh, for 20 years. So first of all, like uh, when you open the TVM solver, you're going to have always uh, the past exercise around. Now, let's think about it for, uh, the, the time period first. What, how often are things going on? Well, 20 times 12, remember. You always have to think for the end how many how often are things happening it's not the number of years it's a typical mistake the interest is however always per year so it's going to be 6.7 here now we are receiving this money from the bank so i'm going to put 60,000 for present value positive because i'm receiving it from the bank the future value however is going to be zero because in the future i'm going to have paid my loan bank to the back to the bank payments per year is 12 and the interest is per annum but it's getting compounded in 12 months now i go to the payment per month uh, and i'm going to uh, press solve and i get 454.44 euros and that's going to be the monthly installment now look carefully and how i've arranged the 240 is important to put it different every time but in general, the arrangement is going to be practically the same for every loan exercise. Um, the present value is how much the loan is. Future value is going to be zero. The interest, interest per annum, these two are going to be 12. And all I have to do is uh, press solve on PMT. Just be careful on how to put the end. Remember to multiply by 12 the number of years. And practically all loan problems are going to be exactly the same. There will be some different ones. We'll be, we'll be looking at exercises. Now, Let's talk about inflation first. What is this? Well, money constantly changes value. You've heard complaints about people saying, like, this was worth much less back in my day. Inflation, basically, you're measuring how this price changed. Just look, for example, at the petrol price in Spain, how much it's changed in the last in, in 10 years. Now, how do we calculate inflation? Well, we can use the same formula as a compound interest and figure out what the value of R is. So, you know, I can look at uh, the previous example, 2007 and 2008. You figure out the and just fill it up the formula I have the present value I have the future value and all i have to do and it's just one year happened in between and the only thing i have to do is i have to clear for r so the 0 0.63 goes subtract into the other side and now i just have to multiply the 100 and divide by 0 0.63 to get 6.34 percent i can use uh, calculate inflation by means of the calculator Or uh, what I can do too is I can simply figure out, well, what's the increase has been, the increase has been 0 0.04, and what is 0 0.04 of 0 0.63, and I get the same result. I can also do inflation with a graphic display calculator. So here's an example, you know, I get a price of, uh, I get a pair of skis for 324, and the question is, how much is that going to be worth next year? Now, there's going to be some slight differences on how this works on my uh GDC. First of all, pay, make sure payment per uh, time period is going to be zero. And now let's think about it. Well, the present value I'm going to put it 324. I'm going to put it in negative. Now, why is that? Because suppose that I'm investing in these skis and their price is not going to change. Suppose that's the case. Well, it's like I'm putting the money in the skis, right? And how much money am I going to get back would be the question considering inflation. Payment per year and compounding per year is always going to be one in inflation and depreciation exercises, unless it explicitly says that it's not. And hence, I just have to calculate the future value. This is how I can do the inflation with the GDC. Again, I can also do it with the formula. No real need to do it with this if you don't want to. If I do it for four years, I'm going to get uh, a different value. This is how it is. This is... Um, Hope you can see it clearly. I guess not so much. Um, 
it's an old presentation, excuse me, for this. But anyway, as you can see that the actual price um, appears, 128.86. And if I change the number of years, I'm just going to get uh, the value, the inflated value after four years. Depreciation is slightly different. It's, you know, like you buy something, but actually this is what's really going to happen to the skis. You're going to sell them for the same amount. Why? Because they're worth less with time. With time, an object loses value. So it's going to be exactly the same thing. The only thing you're going to have to do is so I'm going to put the interest negative. So if ski is depreciated by 12% every year, I just have to go in the interest percentage and put minus 12. That's the only thing I'm really going to have to change. Now, in one year, at 12% loss, I just go down to my future value, press solve, and I'm going to get that the skis would now be worth 285.12. If it's going to be in four years, all I have to do is change my N. And the future value is going to be, let's see, alpha solve. Here we go, 194.30. And again, for 10 years, all I have to do is just go in, put 10, go back to alpha solve. It's going to be much less now, I guess. No? It's going to be, let's see, about 90 maybe. Yep, 19, 90.23. So you can see how depreciation is now. Things are going to be worth less every time. I can actually, actually use depreciation with the formula. We'll see some exercises about this in class. But important things for you to understand loans, inflation, and depreciation. And that this, uh, these are like three typical exercises you can do with the GDC or with the formula, except the case of loans, which you can only do with the GDC. Thanks for your time. See you next time. Goodbye.